Hello and welcome to my workshop. Uh, if you can call it a workshop. It's actually the cupboard underneath my stairs and it's where I make my rings from. The reason you're in the cupboard underneath my stairs today though is because, like I said, I make rings. I've been making rings for a while now and while I can show a lot of stuff on Instagram or TikTok, I would much rather make some long form content that I can show the whole process of making a ring. So today is a big day. Not only am I filming this first YouTube video, but I'm making two rings. The first is a signet ring. Um, this is one that I previously finished. Didn't like the color I did on the inlay, so we're just replacing that. I can show you some of that process. The second is a stacker ring that goes around the signet ring. Uh, this one has just been freshly cast. I've got to do all of the finishing work on it from start to finish. I've also then got to put an inlay in there too, so I can show you both of those processes and I think it's gonna make a really fun video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the stacker ring. We're just gonna do a bit of surface finishing, uh, remove some of these sprues, get it ready to put the inlay in. Then once that's done, since these both need an inlay in them, I will go ahead, mix some resin, put some pigment in, and we'll get those poured. Once that's done, that's gonna to have to set. That usually takes about 24 hours. Um, so I'll come back tomorrow and we can show you the rest of the process from there. Okay, finishing work on the stack ring is done. This is now ready to go. Um, so both rings are ready for epoxy. So I'm gonna mix up some resin, put the mica powder in. We're going for a pink today. We're trying to match the color that's in this ring. And yeah, I'll put the camera overhead so that we can see the process of me mixing all that up and we'll go from there. Just a note on continuity, yes, I did change. Started this video wearing all white for some reason. Not the best idea when you're making rings. Um, that's why I'm in black now. Let's mix some epoxy. Okay, rings are ready to go. I'm gonna mix some of this resin up. My very sophisticated setup here. Ignore that, it's not just elastic bands and pliers, I promise. Um, so let's get this mixed and get it in the rings. Epoxy's all in the rings, they look good to go. They do look a little bit crazy right now, but that will be something we'll remedy with sanding. Um, I'm really excited to see how this one comes out. I'm excited for that M that is under that resin. And yeah, I think they're gonna look really good. I'm worried about some air bubbles, um, but that is easily fixed. So yeah, I'll leave these to set. We'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you the rest of the process. Okay, it's day two. The rings have fully cured. It looks like all of that resin uh, works successfully. They look pretty good. I'm not seeing any air bubbles immediately, so I think they're gonna be good just to go ahead and sand. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with hand sanding, and then I'll get out the Dremel and do some more surface finishing, but I'm excited to see how they look. Okay, I've come outside for this next part as I thought it was gonna look really nice to show the rings in the sunlight. It's probably a bad idea. It's kind of windy and there's an airplane overhead that seems to just be really noisy. I'll film some B-roll of the rings I just made so that me talking isn't just you looking at me walking through my neighborhood, that's a bit boring. But these are the rings. I did have to fill a few holes in the epoxy but that wasn't a problem at all. And yeah, I really love the way they turned out. Here's a look of how they might look on a finger. Um, these rings aren't actually my size, so I can't get them all the way on, but together I just think they look brilliant. And that's the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along this process of doing just a small bit of ring making. Uh, you'll probably have noticed that a lot of my methods were kind of crude, um, and that's really because I've, I mean, I've been making rings for a little bit now, but it's all just been out of, out of that small little Harry Potter cupboard I have under my stairs. So, But that's sort of the reason I'm making this YouTube channel, is I want to show the journey of me learning more ring making skills. Uh, I just got an order in of some new tools. With that, I'm hopefully going to be able to set some more stones. That's my plans for the next video, is to show me actually setting a few stones. Um, and I think that's going to be really interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know when the next one will be. Uh, like I said, it's going to be setting some stones, so that should be a little bit more exciting than what I did today. But thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, subscribe, give this video a like. Uh, but uh, yeah, see you next time.